Hey, it's Ed here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Ethereum. I'll cover wave analysis with the little theory and provide multiple scenarios your price may take and explain why I prefer one kind over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on one hour time frame and looking at this structure starting from around the two point or 2k highs around the 14th of August. Since then, the main idea has been that we have this as a 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 into wave A as that fits into the higher time frame picture better. It is not uh, impossible to say that we have a wave one here as well um, so that has to be kept in mind since then we had a three-way move here does not really matter how you're going to be labeling this whether it's like that or the way I have it hack uh, at the moment here but again um, the point is that we started from here ended here and then a continuation of trend of this trend is again um, happening so the main idea uh, since the B high was put in place is that we have a five wave structure here as a one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, the third wave here gets to the 1.618 of the first move here, and meaning that it does not extend. And then we would have an extended fifth here. It, the wave five hits the one to one extension target, oh sorry, one to one extension target of the wave zero to three. And uh, again, that is from pivoted from wave four and it hits pretty well there. Now, since then, we haven't really had a very clear structure uh, of the lows. So this is most likely a three-way structure, but what this is, is not very, very clear. Um, the expectation would be that we would at least get to the 38.2 here uh, for the wave two um, and hopefully a bit higher. We do have that uh, some kind of daily structure or daily close here a naked point of control um, also there right around the 0 0.5 0 0.618 of the golden pocket has that daily so and this whole thing has that wave or uh, four hour order block as well within it um, also there is going to be some kind of volume bump here so if the price gets here it is uh, very likely that it is going to see some kind of bounce downwards even if this count would be wrong now, the second option that we have here is that we already had this as a wave one here, as we have been talking about it. Um, the wave two would be getting here, and this would be another wave one. Now, the reason why I don't like this as much is because again, this wave one here would be larger than this structure here, which is a larger degree. And that's basically the sole reason that it doesn't really make too much sense with this structure. Um, but yeah, both of them are saying that we would have some kind of a pump up higher to get some kind of retracement uh, before continuation to the downside. Of course, it is possible that this five wave structure is actually the end of that C wave as we did hit the 0.618 target of this A, B and C. See the 0.618 uh, extension target was just to take out these basically these lows here and then we would be continuation or continuing the trend that we had previously here, continuing that to the higher side. Um, while it is possible to end this ABC here, uh, like so, uh, to the 0.618 extension, it is not that common, and it is very much possible that we are going to do something like this, creating that better looking fireway structure coming to the uh, 1 to 1 to 1.382 extension targets here. Um, anywhere ranging from anywhere 11.78 to 945 dollars um, but again we don't know of that yet so again it is more of a guess um, the reason why i do prefer still that we are uh, getting this pump up higher and this is a way one instead of that way five of that way c is just because again in time we did not hit the 0.618 extension on this higher time frame comparing the time it took to create wave a to comparing that to of that c so having it complete like this would be a not well wouldn't be that good of a look um, at all in my opinion see it does not have the right look in my opinion but um, of course it is possible and the market does not behave like that every time so yeah we could be looking for a higher pump here now let's just jump into the smaller time frame and see if we can catch anything here this structure is really awkward to me um, this here we can see that it okay we can get a three-way move here very easily whether it's from this peak or this peak 
um, doesn't really matter. This structure over here though, uh, looks like three ways, but I'm not quite sure how we would be labeling this. Is this, is this one, two? Uh, is this just the third, fourth and fifth? However, this is so much retraced uh, that it does not really make too much sense that it would be a wave four. Uh, see, it gets well beyond the point, point five, right into the golden pocket actually. Um, so I'm not quite sure what this is and I'm not going to be trading this because again, I don't have an, any idea what this is part of. So to me, this is just random squiggles at the moment before until further out, uh, I can probably um, take another look and see if there is some kind of pattern I can recognize. But um, until then, I'm still looking for this pump up higher and uh, then again, continuation to the downside. But that is pretty much all the expectations I have for Ethereum at this moment. If you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate the likes. Links to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you next video. Bye bye.